Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect. It's episode three of our series here on the channel. Last time we expanded by adding two of these cell blocks and started improving some of the other things around the prison, but we got some problems. As you can see, uh, they're kind of uh, kind of angry, and I think a lot of it is to do with the tiny canteen and uh, the inability for everybody to eat. As you can see here on the feed all prisoners. Uh, goal here. It is not quite being met. So we're going to focus a lot on that today. We, we're going to put in some additional buildings uh, right in the middle here, not where the yard is because that is, well, the yard, it has to be there, but we'll probably fill in this space with actual foundations and we can put in canteens and other things. And that's going to be a whole thing. But yeah, you can see these guys are getting kind of, kind of testy here. So uh, we'll just uh, let them do what they need to do. And, uh, start the process, hopefully, <laughs> of fixing this so it's not going to be that big of a problem. But uh, one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enclose this prison uh, with a wall or a fence so we can actually, you know, take these fences out. So uh, one of the things that's going to be hard about that, though, is how expensive it is. If we take this perimeter wall and we drag this all the way out, um, yeah, it's going to cost $68,000 to do that. Uh, we're not, we're not going to do that. Not going to do that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to instead probably just use regular fences or possibly, uh, possibly put in foundations or some other sort of wall. The idea behind the perimeter wall is that it, you can't really do anything underneath it. You can't really tunnel or whatever, I think, <laughs> but, uh. It's, it's, it's so expensive and the fence is, you know, $3 a square. It's, it's going to count for something. So, uh, that is something that our workmen can easily do and it will only cost us $1,000. So we'll go ahead. Uh, we can't go to the very outside. The game doesn't let us build there. So we'll do our 98 by 78 meter fence. Just get that all the way around the outside, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, they're, they're doing that with a quickness. But we'll we'll get that in place. And then we have ender doors. Uh, we have a road gate and a road barrier we can do. So uh, this will, of course, keep uh, trucks in or out and prisoners. You can kind of create like a, well, it's not really an airlock, but you can create kind of like a secured zone where one vehicle can go in at a time. And in lockdowns, it'll be double closed, etc. cetera. I, I don't think it's going to be that serious <laughs> in, in this prison, at least. This uh, proof of concept, just casual thing. Plus, it's a tiny map. It's kind of hard to build something that huge. But uh, I don't think it's a bad idea to have the road gates in. Uh, we can just have guards stationed to keep those closed or open as required. Because we do have the ability to make patrols and assign guards to specific areas. Uh, we also probably need to remember just how long <laughs> these trucks can be so we can have a uh, an adequately sized space here. But I think... Better thing for us to do is just make sure this uh, outer fence gets installed. I think it's pretty much all done. It's kind of hard to see at night. So we will uh, we'll have to check in the morning when the sun comes up. But I believe it looks like they've just about finished it. So once the gates are in, it looks like they are. I think I think we're good. Actually, we can look and uh, check on deployment. Yeah, that is now a... Uh, no, that's now an enclosed space. So I think that's going to be fine. We can come in and we can dismantle our walls here. Probably the easiest way to do that is just going to be to put foundations in place. And I believe yeah, if I just put this in like so, to start right there, uh, it should, I believe if I've done this correctly, uh, only delete common walls and not anything else over here. We'll find out what happens, I suppose. But once that's in place, that should be good to go. Uh, and then since we're already here, I might, you know, I might as well just go ahead. Oh, it's not going to let me do that, huh? Ah, because that's already there. All right. Well, we'll just expand this just so it uh, matches dimensions and everything. But that should be okay. While we're waiting... Yeah, they're, they're going to continue to be angry in here until we can fix that. Uh, a number of you pointed out that I am bad at installing lights manually. That is correct. And that the solitary confinement rooms did not have lights. So guess what? Now they have lights. Well, once they're installed. 
Um, somebody was complaining the library did not have lights in it. Um, it does. It has a light right there. And that one has light right there, and it doesn't have a doesn't have any books in it, so I guess that problem is solved. It might have been something we fixed in the last episode anyway. Uh, yeah, but once they put this in, it's probably going to break a lot of these walls. We'll have to go and uh, take care of that in due time. But uh, what we'll end up doing is uh, this will expand this canteen. We can continue to use this as a canteen. I just make it a little bigger. We'll make the holding cell a tiny bit bigger as well. And then we can actually expand this canteen all the way out here. And we can probably, uh, since this is medium, I think this was the medium, no, minimum security. This is minimum, this is medium. Uh, depending on how we have guys laid out. Yeah, okay. We're actually completely full. So I was thinking, you know, maybe we, uh, maybe we want to just flip these around. We can upgrade the rest of the cells. So uh, this this right here probably probably should be the minimum. We'll just make this a little bit nicer, and then uh, we'll make both of these up into the uh, medium, and give them a separate canteen. We got some time today to figure it out. Ah, okay, yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was gonna do. Let's go into a slow speed here. And then we'll put this wall back. Uh, then we'll put this wall back and this wall back. And this kitchen is probably fine as is uh, size wise, but we could use some more machines in here. I, I say machines, I mean uh, a range or a cooker as the game wants to call it. Uh, range and a uh, another refrigerator. Looks more like a chest freezer. Some more sinks, and then we really need to have some more serving tables, so we'll let those guys take care of that. I'm not going to add any more cells, I think, for uh, where we are in the game. This is probably a fine amount of uh, cell population. We just have to get the rest of that taken care of. And we do have the outside... Wait, why are you uh, why are you out here, man? What's going on? Where are you going? Okay, you're mad about your clothes being dirty, and yet you're walking outside in the rain. Doesn't seem like uh doesn't seem like a very good strategy there, my man. Are you uh Hmm. Alright, well. Wait, why does this guy have red? Or is that orange? I can't really tell. Oh, oh, guys got elevated. Got elevated to maximum security, but why? Is that because they killed somebody? Huh. Okay, so what's uh What's up with that? What's up with that? I don't remember having that set up for it to automatically elevate, guys. Yeah, I don't even have policy unlocked, so maybe that's not something I have uh, I have control over. All right, well, let's get the uh, speed back up so our uh, our workmen can come in here and actually take care of everything. Um, it is almost dinner time, I think. Starting at eight. Yes. So we'll let them do their eating. And then immediately after, we're going to disassemble the uh, serving table, all the stuff in the canteen, move it around so it can be what it has to be, and hopefully make it a little bit better. Holding cell gets bigger. That's fine. Dinner time ends at 10. It's probably a little too late. We probably should change that. But now we can come in, take care of that. All right, so... You know, we probably don't even have to really disassemble all of this. I don't think. But I uh, I kind of want to anyway. I got to remember how to multi-select stuff in this. Anyway, uh, let's just dismantle all of this stuff. There's probably a way to multi-select. I just don't remember what it was, despite owning this game since <laughs> 2015. Or whatever. That's part of the reason that I'm uh, doing this video series, is so I can get a little bit more... Uh, acclimated to it in case we want to do another series or in case we want to do live streams which I think might be fun but you guys seem to like the videos at least from the comments so we'll probably keep doing those just like we're doing this one and move on to a new prison after we're uh, finished with this one in probably the next video this is not going to be a very long series but the cool thing about prison architect is there is a way I'm just going to keep talking through this while we dismantle stuff uh, there is a way to sell shares of your prison and then carry on uh, the money you get from that to make a new one. Which is going to be an interesting thing for us to uh, mess with. 
but serving table will just uh, I think that's uh, wait do I have this set backwards I do <laughs> I absolutely I put that in backwards okay yeah because you know you've ever been to a cafeteria the little uh, little bars in the front of this one or how you actually you know you scoot your tray along there and then that's uh, that's problem solved so I'm gonna put actually no we're not gonna put that one there I'm gonna move it over one more not like it really matters we'll put three of those in that should work nicely and then we'll put the uh, the bin right there and then we can come over and take our tables and we can have plenty of space right here for those guys then I will just leave three spaces in between so we can fit benches and walking room although maybe 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 I'll move these over one yeah there we go because then when I do this they can actually walk in from the door and not have to worry about a uh, all that but now I've got all of these all of these in here I've got benches I can pop in as well so that will have massively increased our seating capacity almost doubling it and now that we have three of these serving tables that should help a lot as well uh, the kitchen also desperately needs some help so let's give them uh, uh, I guess the uh, the bin is there let's uh, flip these cookers around wants to call them cookers for whatever reason but that's fine and then we'll give them another sink over here and then I think what we have to do is yeah we have to manually hook all of those up and then with the water as well uh, just run that out there how many cooks do I have uh, I've got four no we've got the extra money we can handle uh, another two cooks just to make sure those are good to go and then we can expand our canteen to be all of this uh, a couple people were absolutely incredulous about the inclusion of the showers in the canteen uh, I said it in a couple comments but that's a really good way to get the prisoners to have a little bit less of a uh, uh, a hygiene need I guess because it, it's gonna it's gonna compartmentalize them into specific spaces in the prison at specific times so if you're done eating you might have to stay in the canteen or you can go to adjacent uh, areas that you have access to but if you're dirty and you want to be clean you got to have access to a shower whenever you want it which is part of the reason why I put them in the cells too and I don't have a, de a separate shower room because that is a that's a, it, it, it it eats up part of the regime schedule and it's kind of annoying to uh to have to deal with let's move this uh let's move this bin put it over I guess over here in this corner is fine and that also needs to be dismantled and moved somewhere else I guess for right now it's probably I don't even know if they use these in the kitchen but I'll just I'll just put those back in the kitchen so three serving tables should help a lot uh, having the actual access through here is good we are going to continue to expand which I suppose I suppose probably doesn't really matter that much where I uh continue to expand the canteen out to but I will get a pretty big pretty big space over here leave them a little bit of a hallway on this side but now this is plenty of room and for the time being should at least allow everybody to eat there who wants to eat there and then all we have to do is put in uh, additional walls here and here I will leave I guess uh, one of the lights in here just put this right around like so and then we'll put a large jail door here just because I felt like putting it there and that's fine and we have solitary right here uh, I kind of want to move these cells and just put the laundry in the same space I don't know I don't know we'll see I suppose but uh, we will go ahead and get this added to the canteen space and then I think uh, there's not really any reason for us not to have any more of these so can I fit I can fit two more of those all right well that's fine so then I can just put 
uh, another bin over here. And then I think there's a couple other items that can also increase. Yes, a drink machine in the corner. And then I think a snack machine. Yeah. Turn this around so we can't see any of the printing because that's what it would actually look like in the room. I guess that's fine. Um, we can put a water cooler in the canteen. Hey, who's escaping? Who told you you could do that? You, oh, all right. You're going <laughs> to... You're gonna you're gonna make me do a shakedown before breakfast, huh? At five in the morning? Yeah, that's not gonna go well. Well, we'll let him eat. Goodness me, we have a prison full of ragamuffins. Who are you? Oh, that's the, is that, is that a priest or a psychologist? I can't I can't remember. All right. Well, we'll uh we'll just have to feed everybody breakfast. Oh, they're okay. They're continuing to escape. All right. Well, that's inconvenient. Hurry up. I look, I don't want to lock them in the cells without having had breakfast. That's just mean, but they might continue to escape. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I suppose. I really, I wish we had the money to do the, uh, the perimeter walls, but, uh, we don't, at least we have a big canteen now, even if it is a little ugly, but we will, uh, We'll see what happens. We'll get everybody in here to eat, and then we will move on with our lives. And after they've eaten, we'll lock them up, search, and take all their digging digging implements. All right, is everybody everybody eating their breakfast? Why why are we fighting? Why are we fighting at breakfast? Just eat eat your food. It's gonna be all right. You got you got some time. All right, it's work time, free time. So you know what that means. It's time for a shakedown. All sectors. All right, so now they're going to search everybody and everyone, finding narcotics, fountain pens. Maybe they just wanted to write letters. You know, that's a healthy, healthy pastime. Booze, lighters, scissors, more lighters, poison, more poison. Oh no, man, we uh, we got we got some uh, we got some stuff going on in this prison. Knives. Hmm, that's uh, certainly not. Uh, who's dying? Who's dying? Who told you you're allowed to die? Stop that. I don't even have a morgue. I probably should build one of those. We are at risk if a fire breaks out. You're telling me, buddy. So I wonder. I wonder why this guy died. Is it gonna? Is it gonna tell me? Okay, the thing. This thing went away. Okay, so he's unconscious. Overdose. Now he's gonna underdose. Okay. All right, so why are we? Why are we mad? Because I searched everybody. Well, you know, stop escaping and dying, and I won't have to do that. You know, think you got to think about this stuff, man. All right, so we so we solved that problem and apparently created a whole lot more. All right, so we uh, oh, is it uh, remove tunnels is under the uh, foundations one. Where was that tunnel coming from? I guess I'm just gonna have to. Uh, huh. Well, it's not. Oh, I think you have to have the dogs to uh, actually find all of the tunnels. This is just filling in the uh, uh, the exterior exit of the tunnels. All right, so uh, very clearly we're in, uh, we're in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, the safety has become a concern. I'm not really sure how to fix that beyond just, you know, bringing in more guards, which, you know, isn't necessarily going to make anything safer. It's just going to make them more agitated. Uh, what else? What can we get to here? Uh, okay, we're not going to do cell block C. We don't have enough space for that. Uh, tool cleanup. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Stolen weapons? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't think we had any of those. Uh, crackdown on... Okay, we already... We just automatically did the crackdown on drugs, huh? Um, okay, inmate nutrition research. Okay. Yeah, let's do that because that's... Uh, that's going to allow us to go in and adjust... Uh, where's... Food. Is that under policy? I think it was. Stack programs. Oh, I haven't even done that one yet. Okay. How do I uh how do I do that? I think I do have to unlock uh unlock policy. Well, we're gonna do uh okay, there we go. That it says allows to control the nutritional policy, changing the quantity and variety of food. There we go. Alright, so we'll get that researched. Um, but that's research from the warden. Is there anything else we want to research while we're here? Intelligence does. Yep, that's training for guards, remote access. Uh, the guy did say he wanted us to put a door security system in. Armories, yep, and solve problems with violence. All right, cool. Um, 
uh, orderlies. We don't have the mentally insane patients in here. Legal. That's for uh, death row stuff. I don't think we're going to be doing that. Uh, forestry labor. Not going to worry about that yet. Offshore tax haven. <laughs> okay. So just absolutely uh, no holds barred criticism of for profit prisons here. Gotta love it. Um, let's see. Land expansion. Not going to worry about that for this video. Uh, micromanagement. What does what does this one do? Food logistics. Uh, okay, well, that's we have to do that after prison policy. Deployment scheduler, reform program scheduler, um, surveillance, security monitors, dogs. Yeah, okay. We can we can research the dogs because then we can find tunnels. Okay, so they t <laughs> they tunneled out through the toilets and the the, the uh, pipes. Is that the big pipes? No, just the little pipes. Okay, because normally it's the big pipes that they can uh, they can tunnel through. Oh, and this one, <laughs> this one was in the uh, the process of starting. See, this is why you want to have the perimeter walls. <laughs> it makes it harder for them to do that. Yeah, that's uh, that's all sorts of good fun, isn't it? Well, I suppose we'll go ahead and speed that up. Uh, I wonder if I have to do another shakedown for them to get the supply of stolen weapons or if they're just going to find that. I don't know. I guess we'll uh, we'll get it figured out. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, I guess I can go ahead and just lock this door to the canteen open. It's probably smarter to just do that. So these guys can actually get in here. Oh, see, this is going to cause violence. Serving a single low-quality, low-quantity uh, whatever meal for two days. Yeah, they're not they're not going to like that at all. But then the uh, the three high variety high quantity meals for two days they love that they get they get very happy when they get fed well imagine that you know treat uh, treat people like people and they uh, they might actually behave just a thought but uh, let's go ahead and check yeah we're just about done with that and that's actually going to work out really well because we can just have two entire days looks like that's done so we'll go down to single time speed so now what we have to do is go into I believe it's policy privilege policy. Ah, see, this is what I wanted earlier, so I could restrict uh, the medium security guys from going into uh, different spots. All right, so we want low quantity, no variety. Or is it no or low? Well, it says low quantity, low variety, so I guess we have to go for low. Wow, a dollar a meal. That's like public school in America kind of <laughs> prices for food. I have to wonder if prisoners eat better than school children. It's kind of a disturbing thought, anyway. Um, that's right. We have to, uh, adjust our regime now to instead just have the one meal. I guess we'll do a midday meal because why not? And then there we go. These guys are not going to be too happy about this, but uh, if we want to get our $15,000, we have to do it. So we'll just let these guys do what they want. I, I don't know what the, uh, the low quantity, low quality meal is. I guess we'll see what they put out. But I know when you do the high quantity, high variety meals, they get some pretty tasty looking stuff put out on these uh, these serving trays here. All right, so everything else looking uh, decent. Although we we do want to start addressing these these needs at some point pretty soon. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it's going to go. Oh, they're they're mad now. Why are, are they mad? Because clothing. All right. Well, you, I mean, you got laundry. I mean, you you can obviously get it done. Do I not have? Uh, oh, I don't have any prisoners working in this. Okay. All right. That's. I really should have done that a lot sooner. Really should have done that a lot sooner, but I didn't. So it looks like we got bacon, some sort of green soup, <laughs> some sort of green soup, and some sort of other. I don't know. Whatever the green stuff is. Or maybe that's boiled. It could just be like boiled vegetables or something. So I'd be very surprised if they served any sort of actual vegetables in the low quality, low quantity. But uh, that's fine, I suppose. I just, I hate, I hate feeding these guys like nothing. That's terrible. All right. And okay, so now we have to do another shakedown. All right. Why not? Just do the whole thing. Do it again. <laughs> And then uh, hopefully we can get that tool cleanup taken care of and then go in with another grant. Try and get as much done in today's video as we possibly can.
There is, however, no guarantee that they actually find... Oh, okay. Well, that worked. And that's done. Come out of turbo mode. Check out our other grants. Perform through education initiative. See, I thought... Oh, okay, that was the 20 school desks. So we didn't have a big enough classroom. But we can actually now uh, do that. We can put in a larger classroom since we have this big space here. But uh, we have to replace this fence with a wall because the classroom has to be indoors. I guess this doesn't count as indoors, even though it has a uh, ostensibly a floor and a ceiling. So we'll come in here and we'll just close this in. And then I have to demolish this wall. And then that should be uh, hopefully, hopefully okay. Just get these guys in here to do their work. Oh, the classroom isn't saying it doesn't work, so I guess we could have done that outside. I don't know. California public school style. It just blew my mind. First time I saw a Southern California school and they just had outside hallways to go into the classrooms. Like, what, what is this? But I guess if you have nice weather all the time, then uh, that works that way. All right. So where is my classroom? I can't ever find these things. There we go. So let's just make this double size and we can put a bunch more desks in there. And then I think, here we go, school desk. Uh, someone did leave a comment saying that they didn't think the prisoners would appreciate having people behind them. So why don't we go ahead and just take these out? And then uh, we can just kind of move them around and make kind of a U shape around the room. And then we'll just turn these guys sideways. I don't know if the game actually simulates that, but I figured that would be an interesting thing for us to try here. Okay, so we've got five there. Five here. Got to move these two out. Move the blackboard, although it probably doesn't really matter where that goes, honestly. I think it's just a thing that proves the grade of a classroom. See, now we got five, we got 10, and this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, I need one more, one more desk. All right, one more desk, and I've got two. I guess I could just, I guess I could just do that right there. That's uh, probably fine, just like that. And now that's going to have uh, actually, uh, wait, why is this only at 64%? It's been two whole days. Because it says it had to do it for, okay, whatever, we'll. I guess get it figured out. So did it did it automatically complete? Well, okay, no, I didn't even select it. All right, we have to have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. So uh, I really only had six of them pass that. Yikes. Uh, one prisoner passed the general education course. Okay. Well, we just have the one classroom and I only have uh, the two blocks. So I guess we have to wait. And then put some other stuff in. I suppose that's all right. But we have a nice big classroom now, which is cool. And we got a teacher coming in uh, teaching. All right, why are they uh, why are they upsetty spaghetti now? Oh yeah, we need a visitation room, uh, big time. That's something we definitely uh, definitely want to get into. So I don't I don't know why this is taking more than two days to do the two days worth of research, but. Uh, I suppose that is just how it's going to be. Uh, I was going to move our solitary out here. Because we have the option to do that. We can do four, five, uh, six of those right here. I guess I didn't need to put the... Uh, I didn't need to put the walls in here. I just had to put the uh, solitary doors. But if we move that out of the way, then that gets... Same exact number. Yes, I'm going to put lights in them. Don't worry. And I think that means then I can just come in and... Uh, empty this thing out. Uh, demolish the walls on the inside. And then we can move our laundry back to where it's supposed to be. And uh, give these guys back their library. Or any library. Uh, zone this. This isn't a Sim City. This is not a zone, but whatever. Where's Solitaire? Here it is. Alright, so now we got six of those. These are no longer Solitary. 
All right. Now, is it going to let me copy? I don't think. See, I can dismantle. Yeah, I'm just going to dismantle all of these. And that way we don't have to buy them again. After they take care of that. What are, the, what are these guys doing in here? They're not they're not working. They're just kind of standing around. This is this is dirty. You didn't you didn't clean it, man. Come on. So what's up? What's up with this? Come on. You gotta, you gotta do your work. You gotta do your work. Alright. Now I've got where's my laundry machines? I can't believe they call them that. Put five of these guys in here. Uh, and we'll just put in two of the carts because that seems to work a little bit better. And then where's our laundry? Laundry, laundry, laundry. Why can I not find where the laundry is? There it is. I'm going to mark that as laundry and that's A-OK. -okay. Looks like we have to put our utilities in. Uh, no surprise there. And electrical, same way. All right. And of course, we got to put our lights in. So I'll just put one right in the center, one right in the center. That seems to work. Okay. We got our solitaries right here. So that's, uh, hopefully working out. I think should be uh, looking a little bit better. All right. So now, now we can finally stop abusing these people's terrible food. And then we want th three high quantity. No, I, I, that doesn't need to go there. Um, where did I, I had it at eight, eight to 9 PM. Yeah, I guess that works. Bookend onto that. And then where is my nutrition policy? We want high, high variety, high quantity, a $15 a meal. That sounds like a lot, but we should see it, uh, actually positively impact our prisoners, which is always nice. Yeah, so you'll see a huge... Oh, yeah, see, look at that. That's like actual meat they got in that box and not just slop. I see potatoes. Very good. Why does this still not have water? I thought I had a... Uh... Oh, this has to be the... Uh... Wait, no, it doesn't have to be the large. This has to actually be individually attached. There we go. Yep, that's looking pretty okay. Do I still have library equipment? I guess I should... Uh, set this up to be a library, and then we'll find out. Uh, it looks like I don't... How did I have this set up? No, that's a short bookcase. I want a, uh, I want a large, large bookcase. Sorting desk. Yes, I did have a sorting desk. And I had two of the uh, library shelves, just like the rest of those. And I guess that's going to be okay. Um, there we go. Why is this... Oh, this is set to shared now. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. This is supposed to be supposed to be the minimum security. So let's um, let's let them go eat, and then I think we'll swap these out. There we go. Minimum security, minimum security, minimum minimum security. All right, that was a what was that? The Saturday Night Live skit, or it could have been. But bon quee quee or whatever stupid, probably insensitive thing. Security, she got to go. All right, so nobody's fighting. Oh, look, they got eggs, like actual eggs. Nice for breakfast food. I don't know if we can actually feed everybody in two hours, so we might have to. Uh... Yeah, see, we got to 98%. We just need one guy to pass the foundation education course. And then uh, we can start teaching the general education course. We only need to have one prisoner pass that. That's kind of sad. But now we've got our minimum guys right next to the canteen and our uh, medium guys up here. So I want to, we got to, we got to get these tunnels filled in, man. Uh, I did research the dogs, so I guess we could... Oh, that's what we can do. We can we can put dogs in here. There we go. Um, I think the kennel has to be outside, though. Um, five by five. Okay, well, that's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Enclosed, surrounded by walls and doors. It has to have dog crates. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess this does need to be outside, but that's okay. We can easily put that uh, up here. Let's try with a fence. So that would be... 
five. Right, like so, and then we can put in could put in jail doors. I guess. Mm, well, they're gonna be they're gonna be guards, they're gonna have their own keys. Let's see if it lets me do this. Failed dog crate. Okay, so I guess it doesn't care. Dog crates. Get the doggos. Now, which which end of this is the open end? I'm assuming it's... Uh, you know what? We'll just put it sideways. Because I don't think it matters. It's going to be enough for plenty of doggos. We'll give them some bowls. That's Yeah, we need a whole bunch of dogs for this tiny, <laughs> tiny little prison. Then we should be able to dog handlers. So I guess we'll start with five of those guys. And then we can have the dogs search for stuff. They can find tunnels. So that should, hopefully, hopefully be a help. Oh, they're randomized. I forgot I did that. We got Dalmatian. We got a... What in the... What do they got... Where do they got one of those guys in here? Those aren't guard dogs. That's like the dog you like have on your lap. All right, our uh, forty-three percent of the way through the high quantity, high variety food. I haven't even seen what they've been serving for uh, for dinner or anything. It just looks like most of the breakfast stuff. I wonder if they don't actually change anything because this all looks the same. Oh well. For some reason, I remembered that being an actual like a visual difference, but maybe not. We still need one more guy to pass the foundation education course. Can we even uh, take a look? I mean, I, I guess, but we only have the one classroom and we have the two the two regime slots for work slash free time, which is where they can take the classes. I kind of want to have a third one, but the way this is set up, there's not really a good place to do that unless we shifted things around. And didn't have lockup before breakfast or whatever. But I want to make sure they get eight hours for sleep. That's important. Says the person who never, ever, ever gets eight hours of sleep. Maybe that would help things. Who knows? Uh, but we are going to need some more power relatively soon. So I'm just going to go ahead while we're here. Put in a couple more of these capacitors so we don't uh, catch ourselves by surprise. That seems to be helping somewhat. Uh, but since this is now the uh, the minimum security, I think we can upgrade their uh, their situation here. We got all these windows to put in that we hadn't uh, done before, so let's do that. We had those stored because we previously purchased them, so I guess that's fine. Um, other improvements, we could give them comfy beds. Uh, I can't just upgrade the bed; I have to remove the old one. So. Um, do I even have money for I've got 69,000 here. I might actually. I don't know. I, I want there to be an incentive for the minimum security guys to, you know, behave and the medium security guys to want to become minimum security guys. And we got these maximum guys, I guess, have nowhere to go. They just have to sleep in the solitary cell. I didn't I didn't want to have maximum security guys. So I don't really know uh don't really know what's up with that. So maybe uh hold on, do I have yeah, see, I have these set as medium security only, so I, I guess the, uh, I guess the max guys just have to go to the solitary cells. I don't like that. So, uh, I suppose... No, I can't have this be shared, because then we're going to put uh, minimum guys in there. I guess I have to have a separate cell block for, uh, for all those. Oh, and this doesn't even have library stuff. How did I miss that? I'm sure people had said something about it and I just don't remember. But this is all looking uh, pretty decent. Yeah, it's just the same same looking food. I guess that's alright, but they're getting uh, they're getting higher quality food, so that's good. Yeah. For some reason for some reason we still can't get 100% on the feeding all prisoners. I don't know uh, don't know exactly what's going on with that. Oh no, there it is. Okay. So now that can finally go away. I need this one guy. I need the one guy to please pass the uh, foundation education course. That would help massively. Oh, and there's the feed all prisoners back again. 
I don't know why it, it says two days, but it never takes two days. Every time I played this game, it takes like, I don't know, four or five. So maybe I've, uh, maybe I've done something incredibly wrong here. Because I can't take any more grants until these, uh, these two get done. So we're just kind of at the mercy of everything else, I suppose. All right, let's, um, let's do a tunnel search. Use those dogs. Because then if we actually find them, we can seal them up. So they found two. Uh, if we just remove tunnels, yeah, okay, now we have to actually remove the entire tunnels now that we have the dogs. So that'll be an easy thing for them to uh, hopefully get into. Why is that outlined in red? Are they going to search the food for tunnels? <laughs> is that what is that way that is? Lack of seats during free time. Oh, okay, they want benches. Oh, we haven't done anything with the yard. Okay, we can we can upgrade the yard. Um, And common rooms and stuff. And somebody else also mentioned, I guess we could take it off of turbo speed. Somebody mentioned the flooring, and that's something I completely forgot about, is this game will actually uh, allow you to put different types of flooring in certain spaces to control speed of prisoners and guards, or to boost them. Uh, so you have, for example, if we go out to the yard, uh, you can put down, I believe one of these is like a running track or something. Maybe I don't know. Here it is. Uh, so you can walk really fast on it, you know, if your guys want to, you know, run. So if we just did a, uh, a little ring of this around the outside, maybe give them a two by uh, two by two thing here, give them some nice thing to do. And then you can put different tiles down in the prison to either uh, speed up or slow down. Uh, I don't think I want to put grates in. Uh, walk speed on the metal floor is fast. Concrete floor is fast. Um, normal on sandstone. Gravel is slow. Road is normal. Uh, there's one of these, like, inside... Oh, carpet. <laughs> there you go. Uh, cargo floor is fast. Checkered floor. Ooh. Fast walks... Excuse me. Fast walk speed in the in the kitchen. Yeah, let, let's just burn our money on putting checkered floors down in the in the kitchens and the canteens. That sounds, uh, sounds like a good way to spend money. Why not? We'll do a little bit of a... Uh, why is bamboo a floor? Jungle encampment look. No, this is a prison, not a jungle. Laminate flooring fire resistant. That's interesting. Snow. <laughs> oh, can, can be built on water. Lunar. What what kind of DLC has this game gotten in the past decade that I'm not aware of? Marble tiles. What kind of... Okay, yeah, that's definitely a for-profit prison. Would put in marble tiles somewhere. Uh, ceramic floor. Mosaic floor. So that looks kind of nice. Uh, wooden floor is normal concrete tiles fast so i'm pretty sure this is just like you know a regular a regular deal here but i guess for right now it's probably fine uh, i will put concrete tiles i guess through this entire staff uh highway area i guess you could call it let them walk a little bit faster through here i don't know that we want the prisoners to go fast but we definitely want Staff to be able to go back and forth to the staff room quickly, etc., so on and so forth. You know, I thought they were supposed to fill these tunnels in, but I guess they haven't done that yet. Yeah, what's what's up with that? Like, I have this uh, this tunnel removal thing has always been queued, but it never gets done. So I don't know if that's just the uh, the guys hadn't gotten there yet. I don't know. Okay, so we... Oh, yeah, so you look at, look at all this. I like how that tile looks. That's pretty nifty. This guy still has not passed foundation education, but it looks like we finished our nutrition research. So we can get another grant if we want. Um, governmental security ratings. Okay, so we need armed guards in addition to the dogs. Uh, visitation rights. Yeah, I need to make a visitation room. That's one of the things I was maybe going to do down here, but we hadn't gotten to yet. Uh, how big, how big, uh, does this have to be visitation room? Because I think I could turn half of the holding cell, because you really don't need it to be this big. Uh, I could turn half the holding cell into a, uh, a visitation room. So let's check that out. 
Which is where? I wish this was an alphabetical order. That would be so convenient. The roll is yellow. Okay. Oh, so it doesn't have a size requirement. All right. Oh, the Max guys are living in the holding cell. All right. That's uh, not exactly ideal, but let's uh, undo that as a holding cell. Uh, dismantle. Why do I have so many guys coming in here? Oh, they're putting... Uh, <laughs> they're filling the spots because I don't have anywhere to put the maximum security guys, even though I didn't want the maximum security guys here in the first place. Oh, well. Live and learn. Uh, we're just going to, I guess, uh, rearrange some of this stuff. Let's dismantle the uh, rest of this, and then we'll put the toilets back where they belong over here. Um, yeah, that's going to be the uh, outside here. So we've got two of those. Where is my... There we go. Shower heads can go there and there. And then the toilet itself is where? Up here. Okay. Then this gets a wall. And then this can be, uh, I suppose, the visitation room. Clear up a little bit of space for it. There we go. I don't think we need to keep the drain in the visitation room. Probably not. Uh, but we will need to have uh, doors to go into it. Uh, jail door, jail door. Uh, why does this not have any... Uh, Oh, because there's a wall that cuts off electricity. Okay, so we'll just move our thing in there. That should be okay. Uh, I thought I dismantled this. Did I not? All right. So they're going to take care of that. Uh, the visitation room has a specific table that has to go. Either a visitor table or a visitor booth. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, I can't really get away with that. But when we rebuild this uh, in a different different prison later on, I guess we can, uh, we can have this set up. Um, I don't want to put that there. I guess, I guess what we'll do is we'll just put in two of those in here. Oh man, you know what this reminds me of? In Arrested Development, fantastic show, absolutely marvelous. Uh, when the, uh, the dad goes to prison for like, I don't know, 18,000 different types of fraud or whatever. And the, every time he's in there, every single time he's in there, the guard just goes, no touching. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta find the, uh, I gotta find a, a gif of that and put it in the video here. Hopefully I remember to do that, but oh man, this just, I don't, I don't know what it is, but that's, that's just super funny. But let's, uh, let's keep on going here. I gotta hook these toilets back up. So now we do have some visitation. I guess we got our uh, we got our money from that, which is nice. Wow, we have 80 grand now. Cool. Uh, okay, other grants. Uh, investments. Uh, you just pay, I guess, and you get your money back. Uh, accl acclimatization and engagement. I think we've done all of that except having them work in the kitchen. But uh, that has to be a class, I think. And I believe we can also... Uh, got qualified prisoners... But I have to have kitchen hygiene cooking experience in the prisoners. So why do we not have... Oh, I didn't... Uh, I didn't rehire these guys to work here. Okay. Alright, that should solve that problem. It says I got qualified prisoners. And cleaning cupboard. That was the one I was really skeptical about because, you know, uh, chemicals and stuff. But I think... I think it might be okay, maybe, if they're behind staff rooms. Well, I got my money, so now I can um, just quietly unhire them. Because I got the grant. I, don't, I do not want them working in there. Uh, let's see. Manufacturing facility. This is the one that has to have the uh, workshop. That's going to be that's gonna be a challenge to uh, to get all that done. But it's not such a bad thing to have the prisoners working in the uh, in the kitchen, provided that they, you know, don't uh, take the knives and uh, do other stuff. Why is this not... Ah, uh... oh, they found a tunnel, I think. Any more tunnels to be found? Yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go ahead and search for tunnels again because they found that one. That should hopefully uh, help us not 
do that. Oh, they found cell phones in a spoon. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to dig a tunnel with a spoon. Definitely. All right, so what kind of... Uh, what kind of tunnels did they find? Or did they uh, find none? Okay. All right. Well, you know what? That works out. Okay. Man, this guy still has not passed. I need. I just need one person. One person to come in and pass this, please. For the good of everybody else. These poor guys. Poor guys living in the uh, in the holding cell. That <laughs> dead man. Okay. Is he going to get shanked or what? But well, we got visitation. Lawyer. Okay. Where's Vennings? If uh, his uh, lawyer's here. There he is. I guess visiting with his lawyer is helping his family need? I don't know. Is it, is it, is it like his, his brother or something is his lawyer? That seems kind of a hmm, conflict of interest there. Maybe, maybe not. Um, okay, good. He finally, finally passed that. Let's go over into programs then. We'll stop that one, and then we will uh, start a section of the general education. Um, kitchen safety and hygiene. Looks like we can... Hold on. That sounds like someone's getting stabbed. All right, so what's uh, what's happening over here? Who did what? Who did what? Ex-law enforcement in prison. That's rare. Um, attacked a prisoner. Found weapons. Yikes! Can't you? But you ought to know better, Andrew Stacy thirty three. You can't do that stuff. It's supposed to, you know, actually do your job, not do dumb stuff. All right. So we're losing money. Why? We get penalized for incidents. Oh no, we get an income for days without incidents. Prisoner wages. Yeah, you can get away with paying those guys basically nothing. Uh, guard wages. So why are we not making as much money? Oh, we're spending so much money on food. That's what it was. Okay, I don't. I don't think we need to have. Uh, we don't need to have like the best of the best food all the time, but we can. Uh, yeah, we can lower that down to nine dollars a meal per prisoner. Should help us out a little bit. So we've actually gotten a lot done. We haven't built our second uh, second canteen up here, like I originally wanted to. So let's, uh, for right now, I believe, I believe we can get away with doing this, at least for the time being. We make a second canteen up here, or maybe put some other stuff in. You know, honestly, I think they're doing okay all eating together down here, as long as they can actually get to where they're supposed to be going. So maybe... Maybe what we want to do is we want to actually have the uh, ability to get guys around here and have a uh, have like a perimeter. Somebody mentioned this in a previous video uh, comments about making a an external hallway kind of thing. Just want to be able to keep them separated. Oh man, who did that song? Was that was that part, was that like the Offspring? That lyric was in there. I can't remember. Long time ago. I want to say it had to have been the offspring. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah we we played the <laughs> in uh, college college pet band. <laughs> we 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 played that song, and you you know the part of the song is you got to keep them separated. <laughs> everybody would just everybody would just scream it instead of playing the actual notes on their instruments. Good times, good times. So anyway, if we have this uh, external kind of uh, bypass hallway here, then these guys instead of having to go through all this to get down here can actually go around the outside around the outside, etc. cetera, uh, and take care of stuff that way. We'll just put this wall back in and that wall back in as well. So actually, if that's the case, we can still just have the one canteen and we could actually put in, uh, we could put in a workshop up here if we wanted to and actually make our license plates and put in some other stuff here that might actually be, might actually be a good idea. We still have our yard in the middle. So yeah, we got a we got a little bit of time left. I know I, I generally try to keep these around an hour, but uh, I think I think we can get it done. So what other kind of grants? Um, manufacturing facility. There we go. Produce thirty license plates. Got to get these guys in here to actually put walls in. Okay, these are still queued up. That's fine. 
Now, uh, importantly, this is going to allow the prisoners to get around uh, without having to go into this exterior secured zone. So we could actually have guards patrolling here. And uh, that way the prisoners aren't going to be able to pick up contraband thrown over the fence. I know that's something I said, uh, said something about a, uh, a while back. Running track here. Probably could put one around the middle. I guess that is fine. How many guards do I actually have deployed in... Oh, I don't. Okay. Okay, we gotta have one there, gotta have one here. That's fine. We're gonna have two deployed in the yard, two deployed in here, and one in the kitchen. We're gonna have to hire some more guards, but it's it's a good idea to, to have guys actually, you know, deployed in uh, different spots. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We got flooring. Uh, I don't want to put running tracks everywhere, but we could put our concrete tiles in these areas to encourage uh, people to use this to transit space. Just go super fast. But uh, we do have to put our workshop out here. And it doesn't necessarily have to be big, but we are going to want it to uh, be able to handle plenty of stuff. We, we do only have 54 prisoners, 54 capacity. So it doesn't have to be that big. Uh, needs to be thrown by walls and doors. At least 5x5 five five has to have a workshop saw, a press, and a table. So I think, you know, we might actually be able to just uh, get away with having this set up like so. Right here, just put walls around it. Might be a, uh, might be a feasible option. And uh, we're going to be exporting. Okay, so export's probably... Uh, well, it probably does have to stay down here, but uh, we're going to have to have guys take the stuff out to sell once we actually start making it. But uh, doorways, 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 doorways. <laughs> Secret door? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Uh, workshop. Uh, you don't want just any prisoner to be able to get in here, but there's going to be prisoners in there anyway, so it kind of doesn't matter. I guess we just put regular... Uh, hold on. I, actually, I have to actually see how big these things are. To go in here. Saw and press and carpenter's table. Oh, and you can make superior beds. I think you have to sell those, though. I don't know that you can, uh... I don't know that you can actually, uh... use those in your prison. So I guess we'll just, uh... put these in here. Oh, no, I need to have the, uh... I need to have the saws over here, and then the presses can go here. And we have to have tables. Mm, I might not have left myself enough space. That could be uh, could be a problem, but I, d I don't think it actually cares. I think that's fine to just leave that as it is. We can put small tables here, as long as we have doors. And this could be very ugly, yes, and it is. Uh, but where? Double staff door orange. I guess it doesn't matter. Can I just put like a regular double door? A bamboo door, yeah, there you go. But, um... Mm, saloon doors. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just put a large jail door here, and I'll just station... Uh, a guard in here at all times. That should probably help. But uh, we got to get our power uh, directly in here, and I know that these these machines specifically have to be directly connected to power, and they draw a lot of power. So uh, we're going to put in a bunch more of these capacitors, and by a bunch more, we're gonna, I mean we're going to put in all of them, and we should see that go down to about maybe there. But now we have, uh, we got presses, we got saws, we got tables, they gotta hook up the power. But they, uh, they will draw a lot of power, which is, again, why I was doing that. So, so we can run eight of those jobs, and then we have to have, under programs, uh, we can run two of those, and then, ah, uh, okay, yep. Yep, we have to have have to have one of those, and then carpentry apprenticeship to actually make the uh, 
make the stuff. All right, so we have uh, managed to get a whole lot of stuff done here. We got this big space. Not entirely sure what this is going to be uh, quite yet, but we do have some space to put a couple other things. I know we have to have a chapel. Could be a good spot for that. Um, we don't have a lot of other security stuff. I probably at some point will turn... Where's my security chief's office? Right here. Um, that's the foreman. So maybe this staff room can become a uh, security office. I know I'm going to have to do one of those at some point. Uh, we still have both of these active. Nobody has passed the general education thing yet. Um, how many of... Okay, one interested. All right, that's not going to cut the mustard. Uh, we have to produce 30 license plates. So that's these guys. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully making license plates. I guess they're just going to take their time because they have to actually pass that thing. But I guess that's about all we can reasonably get done for the time being. We're able to feed everybody, pretty much. I mean, maybe, maybe we want to have a couple more guards stationed in various spaces so the prisoners don't have to take so long to get into the, uh, into the kitchen area, canteen area. Um, if I'm going to, uh, do I already have guards deployed into, ah, aha. Yeah, we got to have a couple deployed here, here and here. Pretty much any, any enclosed space you probably want to have, uh, at least one guard stationed there so they can open doors and always have somebody there. But I guess, wait, this is still, uh, still set to, hmm, I didn't know this was going to be shared, but that's fine. I guess we'll just leave that alone. That way the uh, the guys in the maximum security don't have to sleep in the holding cell. So I guess that's probably about as good of a time as any to uh, call it for today. We're already over an hour. I, I probably shouldn't go too much longer than that. But we did, in fact, fix the canteens. Uh, we put in some nicer floorings. We improved various things. And uh, we, we got plenty more to get done still, but uh, we made some nice improvements today. And we certainly have lots more to get done, so there will be a couple more episodes of this at least. Uh, at least one more next week. And then I'm either going to start a new prison, or uh, we'll see if there's anything else we can get done with this one. But I think we've made some good progress. Uh, oh, come on, all they want is so All right, fine. All right, you ding-dong. <laughs> this guy, I swear. All they want is somewhere to sit. All right, you want somewhere to sit? I'll give you some chairs. I will give you some chairs. Is one of these going to improve a... Uh, oh, hold on. We've got oak tables? What kind, what kind of bougie... <laughs> what kind of bougie prison do you think we're running here? But I've got to... I guess i got to find somewhere for them to sit that's going to elevate the grade here. Are any of these actually going to elevate the common area grade? Boom boxes, yellow chairs, improve cells grades. Or maybe, uh, maybe, maybe they just want to sit. All right, fine. There we go. I'll put seven chairs in there. I don't know. What is, what is that I put there? Oh, it's a boom box. Okay. And I guess these guys are going to demand to have a chair in their cells, huh? Well. All right, all right, we'll give everybody a chair. We'll just spend a whole bunch of money putting chairs in cells so these guys can stop complaining about not having anywhere to sit down. Even though you got a bed right there. If I can sit on the bed, you can sit on the bed. I love how every time I try to close an episode out, something comes up. And I gotta, gotta end up doing this nonsense, but that's fine. We'll get it done. You get a chair, you get a chair, you get a chair. Okay, so now they all have chairs. We might as well, since we're already here, and we already have the uh, thing open. I guess let's just put all the windows in. But then I do I do actually want to put in nicer stuff in the uh, minimum security section to try and incentivize good behavior to get transferred down. And I know we have to do parole and stuff as well. All right, so maybe our prison psychologist guy will stop complaining about them not having chairs now that I've spent... I don't know, 15 grand on putting chairs everywhere. So there you go. There you have it, folks. Day 26. That's going to be it for today. 
unless he comes up and says something else to make me irritated with him. But uh, as always, I appreciate the comments. I do always read them, uh, make a note of what you guys have to say, and try to apply it to improve what we've got going on. And of course, appreciate the Beard Boosters for all of their fantastic support and everything that they've got uh, going on, helping me out with uh, making these videos and making it possible to not have to infest the channel with all those all those ads for things that nobody really wants or needs. Uh, but I'm, I'm just very appreciative of all the support. It's been amazing on this series and the Timberborn and everything else. Uh, it's just really, really fun to get to continue to do this. So I hope you'll continue to join us for the rest of these. We got more Timberborn coming tomorrow and Friday. And then not entirely sure what's going to go on the, this weekend, but we'll get it figured out. And I uh, hope to see you again very soon in another video. So whatever it is you're doing, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.